Hi hey guys, today we're on stage two of building our own CSS website. Yesterday we built the uh, the actual CSS code uh, that's going to define the parameters for the website itself. Today we're going to put it together uh, and actually build the site itself. So we're going to build this top header section, uh, the sidebar, content and the footer. We're not going to put anything in them for the moment. We're just going to stick with a very basic build. So we're just going to get the structure up. Right, okay. As you'll remember, remember, in the last video, we built the uh, all the CSS code. Here. So we've got from the body down through all of the individual containers uh, and down to the CSS. So what we want to do today is we want to build the actual structure which is down here within the body area. Okay, now the first thing we want to do uh, is uh, define the actual container which is going to hold the, the site content itself. So the body tag here, as you can see, the site always the, the site itself loads within uh, the open and closed body tags. So we want to open the first tag. So we go open bracket div space id equals. And you'll notice that within uh, Dreamweaver, it's actually listing, as you can see, the six uh, defined areas that we put up in the CSX. Uh, now, of course, if you're using Notepad, you won't see this. So what we want to do is we want to type container. That's the uh, the, the first tag rank we're going to use. So we open that tag. Now, we're not going to close that until the very end of everything else because the site itself loads within this container tag. So they're going to add. I, I'm going to add two lines between each one uh, so that it's a little bit clearer. The okay, next thing we want to do is open the header. So again, div space id equals header closed bracket. Now you notice that you always open and close with these uh, inverted commas uh, that defines the uh, the name of the header. Okay, now the header itself is just the box. So now that we've opened the header, we want to close it. So again, it's a simple case of it's almost identical to the open tag, just with a slash. And that there, that's all you need that's going to define the header. In fact, if we jump across, as you'll see, this is the uh, the design view. Um, the body, it's the page itself, has got the background that we noted. And there's the 600 wide box uh, of the content. Uh, that is set to 600 by 100, which of course is the header. Now, the reason the rest of the site's not loaded yet is because we haven't actually built it. Uh, now, ignore the yellow, that means that it doesn't have a closed tag That's because we haven't put it there yet. Okay, next thing we want to do is we want to open the next big tag, which is the main content. Now, this is the one that holds the sidebar and the content section. So, again, div id equals main content, closed tag. And we're not going to close that one just yet. The reason being uh, is that inside this goes the sidebar. So the first thing you do is div id equals, oh, so let's spell it right, sidebar, close tag, and now I'm going to type just, I'm just going to type sidebar. Now this is going to show up as basic text. In fact, I'm just going to go up here and type header. Uh, and here we're going to sidebar. And we're now going to close that sidebar. Okay. Next, we're going to open the main content. So it's again div id equals content close. And it's going to be the main content area. So we'll just call it that. And now we're going to close that again. Okay. So that there is going to open. It's going to open the main content section. It's going to load the sidebar, which is defined further up. It's going to load the content area again, which is defined further up. And now we want to close this tag here. So it's again, close div. And that's going to close that tag, which if we jump across, we'll now see it doesn't look very attractive from here. But as you can see, we have the sidebar, we have the main content area. Now it's start loading fully across. Now. We'll come back and fix that in a minute. Okay. So next we want to load the footer. So again, it's open div id equals footer close. And we're just going to type the footer there, and then we'll close that. Now, 
because of course this is all loaded within this one container, we're now going to close that container tag by doing that, and you'll notice that should go away. And if you jump across now, this is the design view again. We have the header, 600 pixels wide, 100 pixels down. We have the sidebar, which loads from here to here. We have the main content area, which loads in here. And of course the footer, which is 600 by 20, which is loading in there. And that is the basic structure of your site built. And from here, in the next stage, we're going to customize this. We're going to load a an image as the header. And we're going to show you how to do that within the CSS. We're going to uh, load a banner in the sidebar. We're going to put some content in here. And we're going to customize this footer so that it's centered. And everything has a little bit of padding and, uh, and looks a bit more user-friendly. That's the next stage. And that's coming up very soon. Thank you.